We'll have fun Laying in the sun I go swimming with the prettiest women in the world My honey and my blue-eyed girl Little darling Don't you cry Little darling Don't you cry Hush little baby Don't you cry that is going to have to say bye-bye for a while. Welcome back to the Port Sessions with Carrie Hudson here again today. Tr- Hattiesburg's own troubadour. Man, that was a great tune, man. Thanks so much, yeah. The fiddler in the green. Fiddler in the green. So I'm going to go back to this concept of troubadour because the story you told me about it, I had no idea. So I don't know why. I'm being incredibly deep and philosophical today. Uh, it seems to be something in the air. But... Uh, um, Maybe it's because you were you were a psychology major, and like you're secretly putting a mojo on me to like. Uh, I am. <laughs> but you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about, and I, I hate to do this to you, but being a professional musician is not. It's a difficult career choice to make, and you have to be a special kind of person. Because I mean, this is what you do full time, and um, you're, you're committed to a life of travel, and. I think that's why so much, so many songs explore that concept of travel. And you've done a ton of traveling. Yes. And like, do you, how often do you travel? Well, uh, you know, it kind of depends on where the work is. Um, I have traveled a good bit for pleasure, but these days I kind of combine the two, pleasure and business. And so I've been all over Canada, over most of Europe all the 48 states, but not so much by design as, you know, that was where my career was at the moment, and that's where the music took me. Now, it is my ambition in the next couple of years to go to the homeland of the Troubadours, southern France. Nobody particularly wants to hear my music there, so that'll be a pleasure trip. Yeah. So what made you decide to wake up one day, you had a great story about this, when you woke up one day and you said, I'm, I'm going to be a musician. I'm not going to be a psychologist. I'm going to be a musician. But what, what, what prompted that? Well, my major professor at Millsaps, um, who was a big, big influence on me, Dr. Dr. Levenway, and um, I think I still want to be him, hence the gray beard. And, uh, <laughs> but, you know, as I was graduating from Millsaps and getting ready to take the MCAT, uh, one of our last conversations together, he said, you know, Carrie, take a little time and think about this and think about the fact that whatever career path you're going to take in life, you're going to become that for the most part. If you're going to become a plumber, you're going to hang out at the bar with the other plumbers. And if you're going to be a doctor, you're probably going to live where they have, wherever they live and play golf with them. And just think about that, that you will become that person. That got me to thinking. I came back to Sumrall, made a little money uh, working for the state, monitoring schizophrenic people. That was interesting. Wow. (laughs) Saved some money, and I went over to Europe for about three months and literally had like a mountaintop experience where I'm sitting on top of a mountain in Switzerland looking at this glacier and thinking, you know, I just want to play the guitar. (laughs) And ever since then, with varying degrees of success, that's what I've done. I mean, you've done a lot of really cool... I love that story, you know, because we talked about sort of that channeling in the last segment. And, you know, so you kind of channeled your, your career through that. And uh, that's really cool. Now, and you've done some really cool things over the years. I mean, you were in a, a very popular band for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, that must have been amazing. Uh, you-, it, you know what? It was a dream come true at age 26, 27 after working towards it. We got a record deal uh, with a company in New York called Roadrunner, and that began our touring. And we toured eventually all over the U.S. Uh, we never got rich and famous, but we had a lot of fans and we had a played a lot of great places and um yeah it was a dream come true that must have been great so travel has always just been a part of your life as an adult did, did you travel much yes. when you were younger or your family you know not particularly i went to mexico with my grandparents at age eight and that kind of gave me the idea that there were places that weren't like this place well I, and it helped me appreciate this place i bring that up because um there is this concept of, especially when you live in a smaller town, I grew up in a smaller town, we all were from Mississippi now, we have this concept of that we have to leave. 
to go out and find. But then everyone eventually makes their way back. You know, I mean, or do they? I don't know. Well, I think most do. Um, but I think you have to go away to come back. I mean, it's the prodigal son. It's the whole... Hattiesburg is a wonderful place, but how do I know it is if I don't have anything to compare it to? And uh, I think that happens. We are just talking about a friend who just moved to Kansas. And, you know, you get away, and uh, I know I moved to Los Angeles and wrote 15 songs about South Mississippi. <laughs> that seems to be a common theme. Yeah, James Joyce never went back to Ireland, but it's the only thing he ever wrote about. You That's know? true. <laughs> well, man, you're going to play a song for us about traveling, right? Yes, uh, this is a song about some of my favorite cities, and they're port cities. And there's nothing deep about this song. It's just what, the kind evil of a... port cities. Is it... oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, not evil. Oh, that's right. But, uh, that's right. Naughty, not evil. Right, right. Yes, uh, <laughs> but these are some. You know, I was like, I've got to write about somewhere beside the South. I had that thought as I was sitting in a cof- coffee shop in Amsterdam <laughs> called Popeyes, great, great and coffee, um, huh? oh, the coffee was strong. <laughs> and uh, so I wrote a song that's kind of a. It's a little bit like a picture. Every picture tells a story. Oh, it's cool. just a drunken travel log. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear it, man. Thanks for playing. Here it comes. Song. All right. Kerry Hudson seems to me here on the Port Sessions in Pattiesburg, Mississippi. All right. Here's a song called Seems to Me. Dirty blue jeans. Oh, I'm a standing on a corner, sipping on a 40, checking out a cat cow trombone shorty who played in a Zulu parade and a groove they made. It was wild and hot. Like the city that Kef forgot. Seem to me that the same old thing keeps happening Over and over and over again Sip a coffee I'll lay in the cafe to mom With a brunette or a blonde Just a joke Now my old heart is broke I got a broken heart Ever since we've been apart Seemed to me that the same old thing Keeps happening Over and over and over again Strolling along beside the frozen canal Thinking about that gal On a dangerous corner In a Barcelona in a funky little bar, Calamasia drinking absinthe, chasing it with Estrella, spending all my money, feeling kind of funny, like I'm in a dream. Slowly 
turning green Seem to me that the same old thing keeps happening Over and over and over again I'm a mucho barracho feeling macho tonight Ready for a fight a cork in old New York well, It's a perfect afternoon for a rooftop party long as I can make it to LaGuardia by ten Flying home again to see my family and friends But the afternoon turned to night And I miss my flight Seem to me that the same old thing keeps happening Over and over and over and over and over and over again It's a me and my guitar in the airport bar tonight But it'll be alright